Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today I'd like to bring you through how to read your hip MRI. And we're going to focus on the top three things to know. So this isn't meant as a substitute for your radiology report or your doctor's opinion. It's just to educate you about your hip and what might be wrong. An MRI is a 3D picture that slices through the hip in three planes sagittal, coronal, and axial. So kind of like slicing through a tomato or an onion, you're slicing through the body. And again, there are these three different planes, and those three different planes are the sagittal plane, the coronal plane, and the axial. So the coronal plane is kind of a front view, the sagittal view as a side uh, view, and axial, is a sort of saw in half view. You want the coronal image because it's going to be the easiest one to look at and it may be labeled COR and if you look at how the hip is put together the hip is a ball and socket joint so we have a ball we have a socket and then there's the lip around the socket called the labrum. So those are uh, some of the things that we'll be looking at. So let's go over the top three areas to review. Number one is look at the cartilage area. So you see here in this particular image that you've got dark bone down here and dark bone here and then you've got the ball in its socket and the gray stuff between my uh, two red lines here is the cartilage so you should have gray stuff in there and uh, you might also see uh, a picture where the bone is not quite as dark or even the bone is bright but the cartilage itself is in here and will look gray. So that's the first area to look at. If you don't have much cartilage, and we'll look at that in an image here in just a minute, uh, then that's arthritis. So this gives you some idea. Uh, here, this particular patient has less cartilage in this area or less gray stuff in this area. And this particular patient has no gray stuff at all. So that gives you an idea of uh, this particular patient over here has severe arthritis, this patient over here more moderate arthritis. And again, if we to blow that up, you can see here as you take a look at it that in this particular area right here, there's less gray stuff, so less cartilage. Now look at the labrum. The labrum, again, is the lip around the socket for the ball and socket joint. So the labrum is going to be an important thing to uh, look at. And I've shown you three different labrum here, or three different labral tears. So you can see here we have the labrum, which is this structure right here. And we have this white area or light area in the labrum that represents a tear uh, again here we have the labrum here and this light area in there that represents a tear uh, here we have the labrum here and this light area in there this white area that represents a tear so going Backwards, you can see here that this labrum doesn't have much white in it. So that's more of a normal labrum. And then you can see the labral tears here. Look at the bone third. So the bone is, uh, again, in this particular area here. You want to make sure that it's uniform in color. In this case, it's uniformly dark. So that's good. In this case, the bone is the normal bone is white, and you're seeing that here, but this dark area means dead bone. So you're looking for a change in color. And here we have a patient with large cysts 
I'm going to outline the cyst here as uh, on the uh, ball side and some cysts on the socket side. Uh, and that means, uh, again, another type of dead bone. Uh, if you've got problems in the bone, it's an indicator of arthritis. So now let's read some images here. Off to the left here, we have uh, our images, different kinds of images. And we're going to bring over uh, first this image, which is a survey image. And this will show us both hips so we can get some sense of what both hips look like as we scroll through. And then we're going to go and look for, and there's usually the one that is a close-up of one hip. Again, we can see in here, this is the labrum right here, and we're looking for the cartilage in here, and we're looking at the bone. So if we look at this labrum, there is a little light area in the labrum as we scan through it right there. And we're looking at the gray stuff in here or the cartilage, and we're looking at the bone down here. This patient has cartilage, maybe not as much as the other side or as much as they were born with. So this would be mild arthritis. The labrum doesn't look that bad, and the bone is nice and uniform. Now we're gonna to go to a different patient on the other end of this spectrum, and we can see here that we do now have changes in color in the bone. These bright areas are areas where the bone is swelling and starting to die off. We've got no gray stuff or very little gray stuff in here, meaning that they've lost most of their cartilage. And we see a big bone spur, this big bulbous thing out here, which is not a horrible thing. Um, a lot of surgeons love to take these bone spurs off, but the recent research shows that they are protective of the joint and they're not hurting the joint. They're actually protecting the joint. So these shouldn't generally be removed, even though this is a pretty large bulbous one. But you get some idea of what this looks like. Thanks for watching. If you want more information on what to do about these problems and how to treat uh, hip arthritis without surgery, go to Regenx.com. Thanks.